good afternoon. I am Nuria Fernandez, uh, and today I have the, the opportunity to share with you research carried out in the field of different marginal sectors of the population. The sectors in which uh, we will focus are elderly people, prison communities, disadvantaged social strata, and people with mental health problems. The influence of the partic partic participative singing among elderly people is a field that, uh, that has been uh, extensively studied in comparison with other sectors. Now we will talk about some of the most significant studies and inici initiatives developed in this area. The potential benefits of practicing choral music generated among the elder elderly could be grouped as follows, enjoyment, social interaction, physical improvement, memory, and cognitive stimulation. Elderly people are bound to have lived through hard experiences in vital moments called transitional periods, such as retirement, the death of a partner, or moving to a nursing home. People who live in retirement homes experience a decline in their independence and barely have stimuli. Performing choral activities in their environment can help generate sensory stimulation and improve their well-being while reducing feelings of isolation and loneliness. Now, we will mention some initiatives that are being developed in different places. New Horizons International Music Association is a North American organization that develops intense activities all around the United States. Their programs are designed specifically for senior adults and provide entry points to music making for adults. Sweet Tonic Music for Life was a pilot program group started in 2007 through the Australian organization Musica Viva and the researcher Elaine Lally. This program was based in choral music workshops. Her study had the goal to prove that participation in this kind of activities has provable health benefits in the well-being of senior adulthood and therefore develops self-confidence. Sweet Tonic Singers continues now as a community choir still showing the benefits of song and fellowship on health and well-being. Sing for Your Life is a registered charity that started in 2005. They support the health and well-being of older people using participatory musical activities, particularly singing. They coordinate silver song uh, clubs, which provide regular sessions of social music making in community venues and day care centers. They have adopted uh, the mantra, a song a day keeps the doctor away. Call that singing. 
was an initiative developed in Glasgow in 1989 to mark the European Year of, year of Culture carried out by the musician Joe McKinley. The activity was based in choral singing performing the greatest song of all time. The idea was to, de to develop a broad spectrum choral activity with people over 60. The program was designed of the 18 auditions, score reading and prior singing experience. Success was complete. The project culminated with the completion of a program for the Scottish Television and the British researcher Sue Hillman obtained significant results after conducting a survey of the participants. All of the experience that we have been sharing up to now have been developed with research carried out in parallel, in parallel to it. All of them agree that results may be grouped into four major areas of benefit. Firstly, emotional well-being. Choral activity helps sinners redefine their identity, recognize and understand emotions. It provides a degree of independence. It motivates, encourages and generates uh, new hope and create collective goals in order to be motivated in life. Singing together is pleasant, funny, uplifting and relaxing, which helps with depression. Physical well-being. In connection to increasing levels of physical energy, relaxation, improved, uh, improved breathing and posture, increased activity of the facial muscles and other musculature. It increased breathing capacity, generates benefits for the heart and immune system and also other bodily functions. Cognitive stimulation. When conducted by specialists, choral singing enables the development of skills related to the voice. Learning new repertoires helps keep the mind active and exercise the memory and improves positive self-esteem, helping people to feel competent and independent. Benefits related to socialization. Decreased feelings of isolation and loneliness were, were proven. It encouraged to leave the house, meet new people, make new friends and build a network from which to socialize. There are not many studies in the field of prison communities. However, those that exist, exist are very revealing. According to the Israeli, Israeli researcher Leia Silver, most common behavioral dysfunctions of people deprived of liberty are lack of self-esteem, lack of sensitivity to others, lack of self-control, aggressivity, need for immediate gratification, and no acceptance of the authority and rules. Choral singing in prisons assumes the therapeutic role of generating a protected environment for emotional expression and a context within to rethinking of their lives even though the main goal is education. A detailed analysis uh, of the character characteristics of a choir in a prison can be found in the study carried out by U.S. researcher Mary, Mary L. Cohen. As for the aspect uh, related to the choral practice itself, the American researcher established a classification based on three aspects, cognitive, physical and psychological. Let's look at the, at the specifics of each of them. Cognitive aspects. With respect to the cognitive realm, it was perceived that inmates lacked vocabulary related to musical terminology. They lacked resources both to understand the meaning of the texts of the music they sang and to interpret the purpose of the conducting gesture. Physical aspects. Prisoners had no previous experience with singing and they didn't know how to use their bodies to sing. Psychological aspects. Prisoners seem to have a smaller capacity to maintain attention than the average, which increased the level of difficulty at the rehearsals. At first, inmates were surprised to have to repeat the same fragment several times. Then, with the passing of time, with repetition and efforts to improve the sound of the choir during the rehearsal, 
At last, prisoners were provided with a way to pay attention to detail in a sense that they had not done before. Cohen points out in her study that through incarceration, inmates develop an attitude for me against the world, remaining alone, ready to fight their own battle, and she stressed that singing in a choir demands entirely different attitudes. In general, research results were quite positive. In most cases, the results showed that prisoners learned about teamwork, show concern to, for others, they built a sense of trust among the members of the group and increased the levels of self-esteem. Success at concerts helped them realize that they were valuable enough to participate in something positive. The opportunity to express feelings in a space where they felt safe had great meaning for them. Interaction with other singers helped inmates to build a sense of trust between them and to develop a sense of group responsibility. Inmates developed and increased their attention span. One of the first initiatives we know related to this issue is the Home Squire. This choir was established in Montreal, Canada in 1996. Many choir members were total indigents, had addiction to alcohol, drugs, and had no ex uh, expectation whatsoever. After joining the choir, many things changed in their lives. The musical journey of the homeless choir started with Paul Carroll sang in a subway station. After eight years, by, uh, at by the time a study was done, the choir had presented 850 national and international concerts. They recorded CDs that they sold at the concert and occasionally sang in schools where they also were anti-drug ambassadors. At the time when the study was done, four choir members had managed to find a place to live and some of them had got part-time jobs. The study showed that the experience of singing in the choir was as beneficial as any clinical therapy. A subsequent investigation identified four main subjects in the improvement of the lives of the participants in the choir. Group singing revealed states of depression and increased their levels of emotional and physical well-being. Singing to an audience reinforced their personal sense of value and provided them relationships with wider social networks. The choir, the choir gave them a supportive environment in which they could develop social skills and achieve collective goals. Singing requires mental demand, concentration, and learning new materials for performances. This concentration got direct attention away from the concerns of their own problems. Since, since 1990, different initiatives that serve as social support through choral music to different entities have emerged in North America, Canada, and Australia. All of them are under the umbrella of SOS, Singers of the Street. On their website, you can see all their activities. In Europe, Mary Benton's work with a choir with no name is a remarkable initiative. There are two choirs in London, one, on one on in Birmingham and another one in Liverpool.
We began this section with uh, an innovative research made in Kent County between September 2009 and June 2010. It was the creation of a small choir built by users of mental health service and related persons. This project was inspired by the choir that emerged in the Master Seed Center in Canterbury, a day center to provide help to people in need of support in the United Kingdom. The choir was created by a user of the service who was also trained in music and singing. In the following study by the Canadian researcher Lillian Eyre, the aspects to study were identity, emotions, social skills, health and everyday issues, and cognitive skills. The results were as follows. Identity, a great improvement of self-esteem, confidence, and self-perception was proved. The participants were able to recognize not only their contribution and participation in the choir, but also the feel they belonged to it and were therefore better regarded by others, which again brought, brought, up, uh, brought up those improvements. Emotions, participant perceived that singing helped them to express their emotions and there was a positive change in their mood, helping them to manage stressful situations. Social skills, many of them recognized the importance of the sense of belonging to a group. This is important because the lack of skills to communicate with others is associated with a negative outcome in most mental illnesses. Health and everydayness. Sleeping regularly and et eating habits were improved by the need to attend rehearsals. Cognitive skills related overcoming anxiety before concerts. Many of them state that they had successfully overcome the challenges of the activity contribu contributing to the success of it. Getting to know about these researches make, makes us aware that singing in group is not the solution to all problems, but it can be a useful tool that we can use to help alleviate this social reality. In Spain, the country where I come from, the latest data from Caritas Spain report that 26% of the child population is below the poverty line. In addition to economic poverty, these children are doomed to lose opportunities from a social and cultural point of view. There is an urgent need to start developing initiatives to help alleviate this situation and provide integration opportunities to sectors to the population who are at increased risk of social exclusion. In the next academic year, I will collaborate in a joint program of aid to depressed areas of the population in Spain, in collaboration with Social Action Foundation for Music and Help in Action, one of the most important Spanish NGO. We intend to develop a joint program supporting families in areas at risk of social exclusion by providing cultural opportunities to children through their participation in choral music. It will be done through the collaboration of the teachers. The goal is to help the families in various social ways. With each program, we will develop a specific research to analyze and measure the results. Choral music may be an instrument that unites intentions to bring, to bring out change in our society. Assuming this responsibility, being aware of it, this is an opportunity we must not miss. And now, my dear colleague, Rita Ferrer, <laughs> Dr. Rita Ferrer will continue. Thank you very much.
thank you for your works and your investigation. Uh, good afternoon. Firstly, I want to thank the organization of this symposium for choosing me and accepting my contribution in the fight of choir music. I also went to great my colleague of discussion table, Dr. Nuria Fernandez, today and now. I will speak about the choir in a very diverse sectors and possible many of the are curious or other may think that they have also experienced similar experiences. Anyway, my intention is to share real experience and contribute. Also, this is not my usual trail of work. I know the work begins down around the wall on the fringes of music in terms of countries, towns, community, or just neighborhoods. My thesis was an investigation into the children's and young choir to demonstrate that the activity went further than just choir music itself, and it was an education in values, habits, and skills. I found that work values and habits are created and the people who are actually part of a choir become competent, not only singing, but many other aspects. The same value can be worked in any choir, taking account of the principal objective. For example, we will mention some of them. Respect, listen, order, discipline, attention, participation, collaboration, sharing, and a long list that develop feelings and emotions that move much more beyond their one style. The choirs helps the development of the intellectual and moral faculties. This activity requires understanding, attention, respect, order, and listening to oneself and towards others. But it is the marginal sectors where it has extreme force towards the path of integration, insertion, and inclusion. Three, the three eyes are the difference between other groups which are not marginal. They work that can hopefully change in the future. When you feel alone and away from your words, singing in a choir can help you to enable integration. Xavier Bonal writes the lively of socialism around singers' choir is not in all cases the voice's quality of those who sing, but Implicit values in the beginning, each rehearsals and each concert. We live in a diverse and pluralistic society, educational and social communities. Are a reflection and often dispute settles in collectives and in an excessively natural way. The practice of choir aiders in school, music school, social proposed organizations, 
neighborhoods, population or social rehabilitation centers plays an important role that may not shares the singing quality of the members. However, there are hidden and placed values in every rehearsal and concert. To, to speak about these experiences, I wanted to pick two examples, one in Barcelona and another in Girona City in Catalonia, Spain. Please, allow me just five minutes to show you the work of each example. Chamfra, a music and scene centers in Raval's quarter in Barcelona. The context the Raval's quarter near uh, Liceu Theater. Neighbors was from everywhere. Migration from other autom autonomy communities from Spain. Migration for all over the world. They nervo from Catalan and European middle class. An important number of cultural tourists socio-educational organization. The needs, the detection of needs are impermeable realities, social, cultural and human closed areas, contact and indifference disturb the lands. Chamfra Space which makes it easy for people to think themselves through shared languages, music, dance, and the theater. The kaleidoscopic space of Chamfra is living diversity as a human enrichment cultural participation of the young people from the quarter of their families. Now, a very, very important, the choir methodology. And next, uh, actuation principle. principle. One example, this video, Esther Bonal is the conductor. Uh, please, the sound. Please. Sorry. Thank you.
is a collective of the, of the singers, dancing, and the musician. Now is the, are the musicians to pass here, and they play violin, uh, accordion, uh, chromatic, recorder, and percussion. is the Akan Association. Akan Association, they are one choir integrated for the immigrants and precarious situation of the stage to show that another world is possible. Listening to them becomes of an adjusting experience that puts you against a hard reality that must be reserved. The Akan Association is dedicated to the reception of integrated <coughs> immigrants and special difficulties uh, situation in Girona and uh, Sal. Three key aspects, very important. Coverage of basic needs with special attention to the homeless and food. Provide basic and professional training, emphasizing the importance of the Catalan language for integration. Support of different human situations through which the immigrant passes. The Akan Association is a call for freedom and courage in defense of men and women who have lost everything in a often war. It is a trick to look in the wall and see what can be done to advance and turn justice and dignity. To give to each individual a threat with <coughs> sent until the received much return. The Akan Choir was born one January, arising from the Catalan language class through by volunteer immigrants in districts. They mostly sing in Catalan languages. One photo. The motivation is beside the motivation of ordinary attachment to music and group cohesion. There are other specific achievements, such as phonetics and linguistic improvement, knowledge of Geofrica, uh, geographical and human ethnic integration, involvement in valorous public, welcoming and knowledge of the reality of immigration and dignity on the same singer's experience in public presentation and reception where they were subject. Some of the members do not have settlement this of working papers. They face a critical situation. The causes for the migration are poverty, political persecution, war, serious illness, family violence. This map is more or less the area, North Africa, West. Algeria, Cameroon, etc. Remarks by Akan Choir conductor Mariona Feliz. Also, the choir was born as a vehicle to improvise languages, is satisfies numerous functions. Group cohesion is very important and emotional tie generated by being part of the same group and integration, not only between natives and immigrants, but also among the 
different ethnic groups. The president, Luisa Gironès, we really said, we realize the power of music to join people that cannot understand each other. And also, they can have fun singing and expressing feelings. The Akan Choir is an example of dignified people. A little rehearse with a program Catalan TV. Two experiences I have seen and heard, they are still a real example. There with other situations. We propose similar, but the choir may not be the way to integration, insertion or inclusion. It is very important to know that singing in a choir provides balance to help the person to feel part of a group, to have confidence and to feel it, to valor the work of others and believing in yourself and understanding yourself as necessary. And it is a vital source of security. The act of singing provides knowledge of the language that not their mother tongue and goes beyond the strict wall of music. It's projected into a civic and inclusive experience. The results of the job 
done in rehearsals that focus in concerts expressed with a ground of the individual and self-esteem is significantly projected inside themselves. While at first they look at the business with some reclutants as time goes, one and they say out. They feel proud of being part of the group and they courage and bravery grows. The clue of all this is the role that the leader or choir conductors play. That is the same in relation of a standard choir. Finally, just say no. That is a job that continues. We all have an obligation to promote choir singing in general for many of the reasons already stated in the symposium during uh, these days, but I invite you to be especially sensitive and brave and show our generosity with these profiles of choirs. Opening our choir and or her to singers recently integrated and from marginal sectors. You have already, see, already seen it need not be only children or young adults, but it may be mixed. We need to think how we can raise awareness of the population. We must work towards a, <coughs> towards a better world and singing is a real example. Graham Wells said singing can be a form of group identification. Singing can be a transformation activity culturally. Today, Eva Larstein Pilik explained you the classroom in the school choir primary. Why not teach by music through choir singing? Classroom in choir primary school is a good and very, very, very interesting project. We song that they have learned. They sing, love, share, hive, and respect that are different and have other customs speak other languages. Music becomes a reference that does not know colors, languages, or words. Rosa Jordi, a mother of the singing, singer choir. And finally, singing is a choir, in a choir is a way to educate better the public with the intention of making a better world. Thank you for your attention.